Oh, she geeked up too. Look at their faces. That's what happened, bro. He knows she finna get because I suddenly being moved out of Kenya's bedroom. Oh my god. Then you got your husband that you had three kids with. Sorry, I didn't forgot to mention that. <laughs> Myself on being a P. Damn never for anything. I wasn't gonna say most people for anything, but damn never for anything. Y'all know I pride myself on that. And this might be one of the most unpee things I've ever seen in my life. And I might have to cleanse my eyes with the holy pee water. No homo. You goddamn get this image out of my head. Yo, what's the word, G Dot family? You feel what I'm saying? What I said in the pre-log wasn't no cap, wasn't no bap. This this is disgusting. Now I already know about this video because I reacted to the first part on my G Dot 2.0 channel. So if you're not tuned in on my G Dot 2.0 channel, go tune in with that go lock in with me because i got a lot of videos on there you're gonna want to see and want to check out now right here what i'm seeing with this already in this picture is disgusting they were going over this last video and basically sure they got two husbands you feel what i'm saying now they're trying to add a third one and i just feel like i should react to it because i give a lot of player tips on dates and what you should do and how you should do it and where you should take girls and how you should move with girls so i feel like it's only right that i should speak on this as the p uh consultant for and G Dot's family, you feel what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say for YouTube because a lot of un on YouTube, but for G Dot family, I would do it for y'all. But before we get into this hot anger, don't forget to goddamn like, comment, subscribe, hit that comment. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I drop a new banging ass video. Show they also don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Wildboy G Dot, and Twitter, Wildboy G Dot, because y'all get locked in, tapped in with me. Also, y'all know what's going on with me, man. Don't forget to tap in with G Dot 2.0. I said it earlier, but for real, for real, tap in for me, boy. Yeah, boy, let's get it. Let's go ahead and get straight into the video, though. I'm fun and great. I ain't got no thoink, but the thoink got you because the thoink force is within you. It's within me. It's within us all. Let's do this, baby. He's here. <laughs> oh, she geeked up, too. She holding both their hands. She geeked up right now. She geeked up right now. I ain't gonna lie. She geeked up, like, look at their faces. They're not happy. Look at their faces, bro. Look at their faces when she get up like a little schoolgirl. Finna get That's what happened, bro. He knows she finna get and he knows she finna get They both look at each other like, damn, I was cool with you, bro. Like, we cool with sharing it with you, bro. Like, you were cool. I don't know who the hell who the is. This random ass ain't finna come. Boy, he finna take that with JJ from y'all. Y'all ain't finna hit that booty no more. You know when a new nigga come in, he getting the booty. He be in the cheeks. Oh, he big. He a tall ass. Oh, 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 he getting all the. He's getting all the. He's getting all the- I'm meeting David. Um, not right. sure what to expect. Hey. Oh! <laughs> Big Matumbo nigga. He getting <laughs> some- <laughs> Almost a decade, you know what I'm saying? It's been years. Tiger, Tiger David. Oh, about you, man. What? what? You it's been years. <laughs> the brotherhood is together! No, just <laughs> Talking about the brotherhood is together, bro. Do you know how dirty that is? As three different- As- her as three different people, three different people that got different, three different things going on, ain't nothing to her, all type of shit, bro. And I'm just saying, like, is y'all staying loyal to her? If y'all leave, y'all some goofy. But if y'all like, that make it like ten times dirtier. So I don't know which one is worse or which one I would prefer right now. Y'all niggas need to get y'all shit together. No homo, y'all could get hoes. These grown only, y'all could get some hoes. So what the y'all selling for this for? Have a seat. Let me take your bag. You know, Kendall was very giddy. Right. And we haven't really seen her in that state in a, in a while. Because he's uh, her. Kinda like tripping over herself. He's her. It puts me a little on edge because I'm suddenly being moved out of Kenya's bedroom just as another person is suddenly coming back into her life. You got moved out the bedroom, bro, so y'all not even sleeping in the... Oh, my God. I knew y'all wasn't sleeping in the same bed. But y'all know who's sleeping in the bed with her and her, bro. She getting... I don't think she get her period no more, bro. She's getting... Hey there, it's your boy Gita. I'm a 21 year old entrepreneur and a college dropout. Are you tired of going to work? Are you tired of dealing with your boss and your annoying coworkers? Do you want to become your own boss? Well, if you're looking for a solution to your problem, look no further and join my membership today. For only $15 a month, I can teach you how to start your own successful business, how to market that business, how to fix your credit so you don't have any more credit problems, and how to invest your money so you can make money in your sleep on top of many other things. Now, all you got to do to join my membership is sign up in the description below and pay $15 a month. You can make as much money as me or even more. If you want to become your own boss, you want to obtain financial Financial freedom, look no further for a solution. Let's start making this money today, y'all. 24 7, 365, in him out. I'm saying, like, this is Moonstone. Moonstone, say hi to David. Hey, Moonstone. Say, that's daddy number three. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we gotta talk about that. <laughs> Kayla's great. Just saying, it's beautiful. 
Same shape. This is her ex boyfriend. Same, like, energy. Same person. She brought her ex boyfriend back in, bro. So what's going on, fellas? What the? Know. This chill. It's going chill. on. What are you doing now? Um, I produce and create music. Okay, mm. that's what's up. You and Kenya, you know, you guys were really in love and had a, an amazing relationship. And intense. then you guys went your separate ways. What do you feel that it is about now that brings you all back together? That's what you ask him. So my main thing is about money now. I decided, you know, I gotta take care of my mom, take care of my family in general. So I don't really have time to invest in a woman 100% no gotcha. more. But I still want, you know, affection and love. I feel like Kenya is the only one who can understand my lifestyle right now. So basically what you just said is you don't got the time to settle down with a real woman because you basically on some shit like you got to dedicate your life to your work. You got to dedicate your life to your family. You got to take care of people and shit. And you know another girl is not going to understand that. But you still want some. And you think about her because, of course, to keep three people, I ain't gonna lie, you gotta be the throat go, baby. You gotta be swallowing some mean, mean jaloop. I'm saying, like, for her to be doing that with three different people and bring her ex, then you got your husband that you had three kids with. Sorry, I didn't forgot to mention that. You got three kids with a husband that's a dread. Then you got Tiger as a you just met at a party. Then you got her ex boyfriend. She's getting rotated and passed around like a college orange. Nah. God damn, she's a hot pocket. I feel like we have a stronger connection now that we can understand each other's perspectives. It just makes sense. I'm gonna take out Moonstone. You're okay here with the guys? Yeah. Good. Yeah, we'll just chop it up. The three of us will just talk and, and oh, this chop is it going up. swell. Thank you. <laughs> I'm the luckiest woman on the planet. It's so nice that Tiger and Carl want to vet David. Like, yeah. what if a woman had a man to vet all of her new dates that she met online, to make sure he's cool, to talk to him, let him know what, just, what we expect here? You understand? That's like a privilege. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That's some of like the sickest, weirdest shit I've ever seen on the internet to this day. I don't, I've seen a lot of sick, weird, twisted shit on this internet, bro. I've seen two girls, one cup, bro. I've watched two girls, one cup, bro. I just want to honestly tell y'all from the bottom of my heart, two girls, one cup is probably on the same par with just watched right here. This is disrespectful, disgusting, trifling. It's a bad example. This woman is a bad example to men. And it's just, why is it gotta be black men, bro? Why is it gotta be black men that's getting looked at as cucks and simps and all? Let the white boys that, man. Let the white boys and all the other people be doing that, man. Don't let the black man be seen like that, man. That's crazy as hell, bro. She going out sad. Like, if I ever hear about any of my subscribers going out sad like that, being in any type of situation like that, I'ma come find you, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. When I find you, I I'ma beat you so bad. They not gonna know who you is no more. That's gonna be good because now you can start a new life. Now this lame ass hoe ain't gonna know who you is and you ain't gonna have to f no more. You can get a little bad. I'm gonna beat you pretty. I'm gonna beat you from ugly to pretty. You see what I'm saying? These are fists of love right here, baby. <laughs>